Hello, Internet. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the inaugural uh, episode of Al and Ellie's Black and Tan Beer Palooza. So, I'm a big Black and Tan fan. Most of us have had it. Either the traditional, traditional the Guinness and Harp, or the uh, Yangling Black and Tan, which is good. Or my, one of my favorites is Mississippi Mud, because it comes in the little brown jug. And that's a good time every time. Mm. But we got talking this week. Also, we've been drinking a little bit. <laughs> Just an FYI. Well, we had to sample before we... <laughs> yeah, we had to make sure it was good. Um, but we decided to start just putting random beers together because all black and tan is, according to the internet, mm -hmm. it's a mix of a stout or and a porter with a pale ale or a lager or a lager. So any combination of those four. So I went to the old store today and for our stout, we got Kalamazoo Stout by Bell's. In Kalamazoo, Michigan, not too far from us. We are in West Michigan currently. And for our lager, <laughs> we got everybody's good old, you know, faithful Sam Adams lager to make our half and halves. Not half and halves. Elisha, Elisha, why are they called half and halves? So they are called half and halves if you go to Ireland because it's considered offensive to ask for black and tan because the English wore the black and tan uniforms when they were doing the war against Ireland in the 1920s, so it's actually a very offensive thing. If you go farther back into the 1700s in England, it was um, actually mixing the higher beers with the lower beers was a way to have um, less taxes on beer for a better quality. So it was a way for the patrons to be happy and the brewer to still make money. Oh no. I gave you too much lager. Oh well, it's fine. Alright. So, you're supposed to. Supposed to. Traditionally. Traditionally. That's a real diamond. <laughs> Big pimp in. <laughs> I need Elisha's help. Okay, I'll Got Elisha's drug spoon here. I'm going to pour it so slowly. If you look at recipes online, they tell you to pour it over a tablespoon. And there's lots of different recipes to make a beer. It's kind of funny it's, how many it's, recipes there are to do this. It's mostly to make it have the different colors. So you get the split color between the black and tan. I think it's stupid because yeah. you want to mix them anyways. Yeah. And that didn't work out did, at all? It did that. No. I like, you know, just dump it in and drink it. It's all about the taste anyway. You're going to mix it anyways. So like I said, we have our Kalamazoo Stout from Bell's Brewery. It says Comstock, but it's Kalamazoo. And Boston Lager. And we've already had a couple, but we're going to pretend like we're trying it for the first time. So cheers, Ellie. Nice it's delicious. It is. It's cold because it was on the back porch. And it's cold because we're in Michigan. And it tastes an awful lot, kind of like a traditional. Mm -hmm. But this was our first attempt. I think we might uh, try maybe some peanut butter stouts down the road or chocolate stouts. Get creative stouts. with it. Get creative. So hang out. Hopefully we'll have more history on black and tan. <laughs> I don't know how much history you can come up with on a on a black and tan <laughs> we'll keep reading and keep you guys posted so this one um, is uh, worth repeating though yes this is really good the Kalamazoo Stout and uh, Boston Lager definitely worth trying it for yourself it's delicious it's refreshing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's good real good <laughs> so thanks for watching and tune in Hopefully next week for episode two of more, uh, what do we call it? Alan Ellie's Black and Tan Beer Palooza. Yeah.